In today's Cyberpunk 2077 video, I want to revisit the unused or uh, inaccessible ground floor of uh, Mega Building Number 10. Now, recently I made a video going down to, oh god, going down to this place and checking out the uh, market itself. Recently, however, a little mod was uploaded that essentially removes death barriers and kind of bypasses this death state. So today, what I'm going to be doing is revisiting the ground floor of uh, Mega Building Number number 10 and checking out some of these additional levels which we weren't able to see beforehand oh, but guys before we get into this video super super quick if you enjoy this content please do consider subscribing thank you so much let's get into the video so this is the ground floor of mega building number 10 you can see that this place is actually very detailed a lot of people are a little you know skeptical a little uh, on the fence about whether this area was supposed to be used uh, at some point in time however it is obviously ended up as either cut content or very elaborate set dressing look at it however you will but uh, this area is very much complete i mean npcs spawn down here you have vendors which don't work uh, you even have the unusable lift which stops at this location you can even call the elevator down to this area as well you know a, a lot of people say that this isn't cut content but fuck man look at that so this is uh level one of v's mega building you can see that there's actually a real nice militech tactical helmet on the go here so i'm just gonna just gonna pinch that i'm not entirely sure why loot decides to spawn down here i assume it's just something to do with some kind of random generation the loot is uh randomly spawning though as in it will change each time so it's not like there's preset items which you can only find in uh, these unused mega building floors so this little tiny first floor bit here is uh, pretty much just as you would expect it's it's fairly detailed it has you know usable collision some things aren't properly lined up but for the most part this place looks pretty goddamn finished this is level one uh just above the unused market and again you can see a very similar sort of thing happening here very detailed environments with npcs that spawn and behave pretty much exactly how you'd expect the detail is uh pretty inconsistent though like for example here the detail completely drops off and we end up in basically just an empty carcass of uh, a, a mega building level like for example there's even a shop front here which is quite literally a hollow shell we can go all the way along here as well and uh, you know find some more of the same things areas which look like they should be finished and usable and then other areas which don't look so good this part in particular has a large quantity of npcs that roam around her their pathing is a little bit bugged i mean she's holding items which don't really work moving up to level two uh, we can see kind of a similar way of approaching uh, uh modeling environments this place is really really uh basic i think the best word would be for the most part there's things like the floor missing which is always nice all the way around here as well we have uh some oh my god we have some uh npcs that are becoming at one with the brickwork got some more that spawn over here in uh, a very rudimentary market that's appeared but this level in general has a, a lot less detail loads less detail so this is level number three of mega building at number 10 and this is getting slightly higher to uh, the playable area this will be again a, a very similar story apart from on this level for whatever reason this little uh, back corridor this little l shape here has actually been blocked off for whatever reason but we can clip through and again see a, a very similar sort of thing a few npcs that spawn we do have things like oh el dorado's pawn shop but if you clip behind these doors and you can see that there is absolutely nothing going on and that goes for pretty much all of these fake doors there's not a, a great amount to be honest with you just uh no secret shops no secret interiors just kind of run-of-the-mill world building which you would expect and finally this is level number four all of these uh lift stops which are not working which don't have any kind of panels associated with them you can't run all the way around this place which is unfortunate but you can kind of clip through and um again just greeted with a very similar 
kind of thing. Uh, the one thing about level 4 is it has a pretty strange design to it. Like, for example, this little corridor goes down here, but then all of a sudden hits a wall. If you were to click behind this wall, then you can see that it does kind of continue on the other side. And you even get a set of these double doors, which are not present in the actual kind of, you know, seeable uh, view. One cool thing of note on level 4, which is uh, actually inside the playable area, it's just a level below the accessible mega buildings, is this closed off set of blue double doors. And uh, if you were to clip behind this place, then there is actually a floor which continues all the way along and even extends slightly behind these apartments, maybe alluding to the fact that something else was possibly planned, because this is the only area which has this uh, floor with collision. And again, all the way through this door as well, we have some kind of fucking Herobrine corridor with actually a little keypad on the other side as well, which is pretty interesting. And through here as well, we have this kind of weird unused corridor, which is just sat all the way behind these walls right about here. This is the firing range. So that just about sums up all of the unreachable levels in Mega Building number 10. In my personal opinion, because we know that mega buildings were kind of advertised as, you know, kind of micro cities. To say that all of these unused levels are uh, nothing more than set dressing, I don't think is accurate. I think absolutely down here, this place was supposed to be usable by the player. And there's also a good chance that maybe at some point in time, a couple more of these levels would have been used or opened up to allow for a bit more gameplay. Because at the end of the day, mega buildings are boring as hell. There's maybe a couple gigs attached to them. And really that's it. There is no incentive to come to these places in free roam. Uh, that's because half of it, you can't. You can look at it, but you can't touch. But guys, uh, ultimately that is what I think. I want to know what you think on the matter. So please do pop uh, your thoughts in the comment section of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you lot in a bit.